Hi, I'm Craig Wilson from Avid. And let's have a look at how you can do logging in Media Central UX. Now, if you want to log some video in Media Central UX, you need to open the logging panel. That might be open for you already. If it's not, simply go to the panes menu and there you'll see the logging pane. And remember, if a pane is grayed out, it means it's already open. If it's in bold, it's not open. But I can open it simply by clicking on it and it'll open somewhere on the screen. But of course, I don't want it to be there because I want to be able to look at my video. So I can simply reposition the logging panel simply by clicking on the tab and then dragging it where I want to have it on the screen. So I want it across here at the right hand side as a tab so I can use it. Okay, so let's go ahead with some logging. So I've already got my video loaded. Remember, if you want to load some video, just double click on it in the folder that it's in or you can simply drag the clip uh, into the, the, the player itself. So let's talk a little bit here uh, about the, the logging panel. If I want to add what's called a marker, what that does is it marks a specific frame of the shot and then also allows me to go in and type in some information uh, contained in the shot itself. Now I can do that by simply using the mouse here, by clicking on this little white button here. You'll also see it also tells me the keyboard shortcut because you can use keyboard shortcuts for logging as well. So it's Control and M to add a marker in. So when I click on to add a marker, it marks that specific frame. So this is marking the frame that I've added. And then I've got a notes panel here. So I could go in here and type in, you know, this is a wide, wide shot of boat in bay, for example. And then in the feed, I can obviously play through it. I can scrub through it. So maybe go to here. I want to add another marker in. You know, simply click on the marker panel again. Control and M on the keyboard would also allow you to do. So this is shot of boat emerging from bay, for example. If you want to save the marker, you can just click on the little save button here. Control and S on the keyboard will do it. Control and enter on the keyboard will also do it as well. If I want to control the playback, of course, I can use JKNL to do that as well. And so if I want to go in and this time maybe add a colored marker, okay, so I'm going to go somewhere else in the feed, then you see from the markers button, this little drop down here, and I can actually go in and change the color of the markers that I'm using. I can also do this using the control button and the numbers, okay? So if I want to add a red marker in, I can simply change the color then click on the red marker and it will add it in as a red marker. So part of your production workflow might be that different users use different colored markers. And that's just an easy way in Media Central UX and also in Media Composer to then maybe see who's added the markers in. But if I wanted to do that using the keyboard, then I can use the control key and then I can use either the numeric keypad if you've got one or just the number key. So for example, here, if I do control and five, it's actually added in a blue marker for me. And I could go in here and add in some more text and then go off and save that. So Media Central UX, really flexible, everything being added in real time, everything being added, controlled through the keyboard or controlled through the mouse, whatever your preference is, and all of this information, all of the metadata immediately available to everybody else working on the system, whether it's in Media Central UX or in Media Composer.